In this video, I'm going to be talking about everything and anything that has to do with depression, okay? So if you are suffering from depression or you know someone who you suspect is suffering from depression or you just want to know about depression, in this video, I'm going to be answering all the questions sent to me about depression okay so i want you to think about going down and smashing the subscribe button if you want to know about this topic and while you're down there you want to think about clicking on the bell so you stay notified whenever we drop new content okay so why don't you give me one second let me go to the market i'll be right back you know the way I do it when I drop lyrical Anytime I spit lyrical, philosophical All the niggas mimical, but they stare still On ticket literal, punch nine score lateral Hello Chronics, hello YouTube How are you all doing today? So, in this video, I'm going to attempt to answer all the questions that were sent to me about depression. So, are you suffering from depression or do you know someone who is? Why don't you stay locked onto this channel and we're gonna to attempt to demystify the concept of depression from a person who has suffered from depression before, okay? So I wanna put this right there as a caveat, okay? I'm not a specialist. I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a clinical physiologist or a professional on this topic. I'm just a victim, a person who has suffered from depression before and thankfully have been able to get out of the woods and I'm back to living my normal life again, okay? So who do you want to hear about this topic from? From someone who theorizes the concept or someone who has actually suffered from depression. We have 10 questions to dive through. Why don't we waste no more time and get right to it. So let's start from number one. Number one, is depression a mental illness? Yes, depression is a mental illness. Um, clinical depression is a mental illness. And trust me when I say it, you are not weak if you come out to say that you're suffering from depression. And we live in a twisted society where a lot of people get on your back and start talking negative stuff about you when you come out to tell people that you're depressed. A lot of people start to say, he's weak, she's weak, she should deal with this stuff. No, you're not weak when you come out to, to say you're depressed. It is a mental illness and when you have it talking about it does help to solve this problem okay and let's see number two do children get depression unfortunately yes children also get depressed in my case even though i realized that i had full bloom depression when <coughs> excuse me when i was an adult it, it had been affecting me even when I was in high school. When I talked, the more I talked to professionals about the problem I faced, and I had to travel into the past, into my high school days, I realized that I was really abused when I was in high school by my seniors in school. I was verbally abused, I was physically abused, and this led me into a state of self-loathing, a, a state of self-hate and low self-esteem, which are all characteristics of, of depression. So yes, children do suffer from depression. Now, I want to say this here, okay? I want to say this here. The concept of depression is one that is really theorized by a lot of people. Maybe because some people have not suffered from depression they kind of just theorize the concept because before i started shooting this episode on depression i had to do some research and i found a lot of garbage online where people were talking about stuff and it felt like they were theorizing the concept maybe because they had not felt a state of depression before so it was all garbage on the internet so yes children do suffer from depression and number three can a lack of sleep 
cause depression? Now, when I researched this online, the answer was no. But I'm gonna categorically tell you yes. When you no sleep, it could lead to massive depression. Now, what that means in English is when you go a long time without sleeping, <clears throat> you could be depressed because there's a strong correlation between a lack of sleep and high blood pressure. And when you have high blood pressure, usually one of the characteristics that comes with high blood pressure is giddiness. Now, when you're depressed, you're very, very giddy. Now, giddy means, giddy means whenever someone maybe slams the door, you jump, oh my God, who's that, who's there? And stuff like this. So, there's a strong correlation between <clears throat> depression and high blood pressure, okay? So, all I can say is, if you are suffering from depression the first step to solving this problem is usually to speak to someone about it and it's very hard to do this guys it's very very hard to come out of your shell take it from someone who was born in the 80s okay i was born in the 80s and during the era in which i was born and even the era when i went to high school you was perceived as weak if you came out and said, listen, I'm suffering from this, I'm suffering from a low self-esteem, I'm suffering from depression. People usually just see you and say, will you take care of your problem? What the hell is wrong with you? If you're being bullied in school, then you just take the beat down or you fight back. Do you get it? That's the error I come from. So coming out and talking about your problem, in this case, depression, is a huge step. If you stick with me to the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what, because Whenever you, you, you find a victim or a person who's depressed, there's usually something, there's a trigger, there's something that causes the depression. If you stick with me to the end, I'm going to tell you what my trigger was and how it affected me so badly and how I was able to snap out of it, okay? So let's move on to number four, I think it is. Number four is, hmm, are there any alternatives to the traditional treatment for depression that I can find? Are there any alternative to the, tra the traditional treatment for depression that I can find? Yes and no. Okay, I'll tell you why it's yes and no. Now, in my case, I'm only going to speak for myself, okay? I'm not going to speak for people who have suffered depression and have somehow maybe sought professional help and whatever. In my case, I was able to get help by speaking to the right people. And you could speak to the wrong person. I remember the first call I made when I found out that I was suicidal, when I found out that I was not got no well. You know, that state when you get to, you say, boy, oh boy, I know well, I'm not feeling well. I know there's something wrong with me. And um, I'm so sorry, guys. I feel a little bit emotional right now because I'm not that kind of person that talks about this kind of stuff, okay? I'm not that kind of person who talks about this kind of stuff, but I'm usually a very private person and Talking about this stuff makes me very emotional, okay? So please bear with me. My voice might be cracking or breaking a little bit, okay? I'm sorry. So the first person I called about this topic was a very religious person. And you know how them Christian guys be, or the Christian women be, when you call someone and you tell someone, oh, listen, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit depressed. I feel suicidal. I don't feel like I want to see the new year. Of course, my case was very bad. And the person went like, I'm disappointing to you. Jesus Christ did this. Jesus Christ did that. He died on the cross. And I'm like, I don't want to hear this crap. And I had to end the call. And it took a lot of mental willpower and strength for me to actually get to talk with the right person. And when you speak with the right person, what they're going to just do for you is make you see the reason why you need to live make you see your wins, okay? Because depression, when you are depressed, all you see is failure, all you see is regrets, all you see is no need to go forward. And when you talk with the right person, they usually give you the reason or show you the reason why you need to take steps forward and snap out of the state that you are in. So, yes, the other way to go beyond your depressive state is to, I don't know, take 
drugs or, or whatever because depression, let's think about it. Let, let's just think about it. Let's be rational about it, okay? Depressed means something is holding you down. It feels like you're underwater. It feels like you're drowning. So when you take drugs or alcohol, you feel like you're the man. It takes you above surface. But that's temporal. It's not permanent. That's not a permanent solution. So the best solution is to speak to someone, the right person, or just go see a professional, okay? Now, number five. How can you determine if an illness is causing depression or depression is causing an illness, okay? Now, this is a very good question because when you are depressed, chances are at the onset of depression, you're not going to know that you're depressed. You're just going to have this inkling that there's something wrong with you. You're going to have this inkling that I'm not... It's not, I'm not all there. There's something just not right with me. And it's going to start from when you have situations where you're victorious. Maybe you, you, you pass an exam. Maybe you win a contract. Maybe that girl that you've been asking out says yes. Or you travel to your dream destination. But you're not going to focus on the wins. You always focus on the other side, the downside to it, the flip side. You focus on your losses or your failures. That's what depression does to you. It, it takes you to a place that is opposite posi positivity. It takes you to that negative side, okay? And oh, you over, over time, you don't know that, oh, this is depression. It, so over time, you don't know that I'm depressed. I'm suffering from depression. I'm just suffering from this need to focus on negativity, the dark side, and whatever. Now, over time, depression could lead to other type of illness. It could lead to lack of confidence. It could lead to low self-esteem. It could lead to all these negative things that you don't want to be carrying around, this negative baggage that you don't want to be carrying around. Every time, when, imagine when you saw a person you're looking for face there, you say, man, guy, you wait. Man, you find Sha, you be handsome guy. You're very handsome. And you look at the mirror and you look at yourself and you tell yourself, nah, man, I'm fucking ugly. It, it, who, who? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So someone is looking at you and telling you, dude, you're handsome. Or girl, you're beautiful. And you look at yourself in the mirror, man, nah, I'm there. I'm, I'm not too poor, you're IB. You're too ugly. I'm too ugly. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not beautiful. So all their negative things start to come. And imagine when you add that to the jittery and, 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 and every other thing that comes with this type of mindset, before you know it, you start to get hypertensive. The blood pressure starts to set in. Every other thing starts to set in. You don't even see the need to leave anymore. You start to get suicidal, okay? Now, this is that elevated state of depression. Now, number... Well, you know, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Number six. I've heard lots of warnings about drug interactions with certain depression medicines. What are they? This is a very good question. Now, when you find people who are depressed, now clinically depressed, manic depression, they're all the same thing. Now, manic depression is a type of depression where you see people having mood swings and usually this is because of maybe they take substances that get them high and when it wears up they get back down low so there's this mood swings and all now most people try to battle depression by either taking a lot of alcohol or by taking a lot of drugs they just feel that it's gonna just level them out it's gonna just keep them above water and stuff like this over time, it's just not just going to be good for your body. Over time, it's not... Uh, now, this is not a moral class. This is not a moral lesson. I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to tell you don't do drugs. I'm not here to tell you don't drink alcohol. That is your prerogative. That's, that's for you to decide, okay? I'm just here to tell you the side effects of doing this stuff. Over time, alcohol is not good for your liver. And take this from a person who drinks and who drinks a lot, okay? And over time, 
Doing lots of drugs is also not good for your body at all. These are all temporal solutions. They're gonna make you feel good in the short term, but in the long term, you're even gonna hate yourself even more for scoring drugs and taking a lot of alcohol. And you need to have something in mind, okay? You need to have something in the back of your mind. If you're depressed and you have other or underlying illnesses, so maybe you're depressed and you have maybe respiratory disorder, some form of respiratory disorder, or you're depressed and you have high blood pressure, you're depressed and you have maybe, I don't know, some kind of underlying illness, okay, or, or, or something that you're taking medication for and you're also taking drugs that are going to level you out, okay, maybe you're taking one of them depression. I, I, I was never on medication and I was never placed on medication. Somehow, I'm gonna tell you how I dealt, dealt with it, okay? Just stick with me. Now, if you are taking drugs for a, a different underlying illness, illness and you're taking hard drugs to level you out because you're depressed, it's not a good idea, guys. These drugs, they do not mix, okay? So hard drugs, say for example, you're taking speed, or you're taking MCAT, methamphetamine, or whatever, or you're taking coke or heroin or whatever drug you're taking to level you out. These drugs don't mix with drugs for, say, high blood pressure, drugs for, say, someone who's suffering from a respiratory disorder or another. So these drugs don't mix, okay? So you shouldn't take hard drugs and take drugs that treat your underlying illness it doesn't work the same with alcohol drugs and alcohols do drugs and alcohol do not mix so if you're doing this you might want to desist from doing this stuff take one and not the other okay you decide the one you want to take okay? i'm not going to tell you the one to take okay now number seven is this correct am i in the right place so yes i am in the right place now, number seven, why are women more likely to get depression? That is a very, very good question. Now, women are very hormonal in nature, okay? Women are very hormonal in nature. Um, I should have packed my hair. I don't know why I left my hair like this. I'm so sorry, guys, okay? <laughs> but I, I know it does look good, okay? Yeah, I think it looked good. Why, why am I getting distracted? I'm sorry. Now, women are very hormonal in nature. Okay, so women have their menstrual, their monthly menstrual flow. Women give birth to children, and women have menopause, and all these stages in a woman's life are caused by one hormone or the other. That's why I say women are hormonal. Okay, and when you check a woman, you find out that when she's in her menstrual flow, or when she is in that period or time of the month when she's having her menstrual flow, there's a certain hormone that kicks in at that time. And particularly if it's a woman who has painful menstruation, that leads to a different type of depression in its own. Now, when a woman is pregnant and the body changes starts to occur, the, the breast gets enlarged and all the other changes that comes with pregnancy, that's a different type of depression caused by a different type of hormone. And when a woman stops giving birth and she is maybe in her mid 40s, early 40s, mid 40s, early, late 40s, early 50s, when I'm not a woman, they be not. They start to, they get very moody, mood swings, and it's caused by a different hormone. And even the depression in that state is totally different from the other ones I mentioned. So compared to men who maybe just go through puberty from teenage to maybe mid-teens, late teens and early twenties, it's different. Men, their voice just change. The chest gets broad, the shoulders enlarge and stuff like that. Maybe their, their privates, their dick gets bigger and stuff. But it's different compared to women. Women go through stages in their life and each stage is handled by a different hormone and it comes with a different level of anxiety that could cause a different level of depression. Okay, so this is the reason why. Now, number, 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 I'm sorry, <laughs> number eight. Number eight, do most people with depression attempt to commit suicide? Now, I researched 
this question okay i researched this question i i went out of my own head and went out of my own way to research this question and the answer i found online was a big lie and a big lie was bollocks okay what i found that was no so the question is do most people with depression attempt to commit suicide and the answer i got online was no and the answer in reality was yes now when i was battling depression i sat there i could sit down in a place and i could think about 10 different ways to kill myself do you get it i could think about 10 different ways 10 different ways to die i could think about maybe slitting my wrist maybe going to my wife's cabinet and taking maybe uh, menstrual drugs or any of her drugs and just swallowing the whole the whole bottle of this stuff so guy now just madness did my brain that time just the think nonsense nonsense thought and, and this is it wasn't healthy at all so most people i dare say that most people who have have communicated with about this topic who were depressed like me were thinking the same thoughts they were thinking about ways to end their life i remember the heavyweight boxer the british heavyweight boxer tyson fury also suffered depression and he wanted to crash his ferrari into a bridge and at the last minute he stepped on the brakes so trust me when i say that depression leads to suicidal thoughts and it leads to suicidal tendencies okay so anybody that says no or says to the contrary is probably theorizing this concept and has not suffered chronic clinical depression like I have okay now number nine will someone who has had depression get it again yes I'm afraid yes the reason why I said yes and I didn't even blink my eyes when I said yes I said it without even thinking about it was remember I told you that when I was a little boy when I was in high school I was depressed because of the elements around me I was getting abused both verbally physically and otherwise by my seniors in high school it led me to be very very depressed and even now that I'm grown with my children, with my wife, I also suffered another setback and I was depressed that almost, I almost contemplated suicide, taking my own life. So yes, you can get it again. And what can you do not to get this case of depression coming back is to try to change your environment and changing your environment is not just changing your environment physically it's changing your environment mentally there's a reason why you're depressed now in my case i was depressed because i was not meeting my short to long-term goals and this is a lie this is just a lie that you, you you tell yourself i'll tell you why this is a lie you tell yourself now i usually set short medium to long-term goals at the start of the year every month and every week and every day and i marry them together to see how they all tally and see how i'm getting on when I, when the year is getting on and getting to the middle of the year and to the end of the year so i was meeting these goals but for some strange reason i felt like i was not working hard enough do you get it and over time this feeling kept piling over itself and it just developed into full-blown depression so there's a reason why you are not there's a reason why you're depressed there's a reason there's always a trigger it could be a girl that you're trying to get or it could be that you're trying to meet girls and they're always treating you like you don't matter or you don't you know existing or you're not there and over time you feel that there's something wrong with you it could be that you are in a circle where your friends always look down on you and whenever they talk to you they talk to you like you don't have brains they talk to you like you're a dummy and stuff it could be that your wife is not showing you the respect and love you deserve it could be that your mom looks at you as a failure there's always a trigger you have to find the trigger when you can put your hand on the pulse of the of the issue of the matter when you can tell yourself that this is the reason this is the reason why i'm not happy because it always starts with unhappiness and you tell yourself don't worry i'm, I'm gonna get by i'm gonna get better uh no worry now i'll be a man now i'll be a strong man i'll be iron man nothing will feel happen i'm a strong man I'm, I'm iron man nothing can go bad i'm gonna get over this situation and they keep stacking and building over time you find out that 
life is going to be better without you in it and that's what you start to think that at that point you need to realize that your depression has gone to the to the to the highest level okay so if you can isolate what the trigger is then just distance yourself from the trigger you'll be fine it's not going to repeat itself now number 10 how long does depression last this is a very good question now depression could last in my case i was depressed for it had built up and when i realized i was really depressed it lasted in my case for two to three months okay i kept it to myself i knew i was depressed i kept it to myself for three months so, so it started in i think it was september no october november december it was december i decided to speak out speak to somebody and get help okay so it, it could last a couple of months two years okay so most people are depressed they don't even know they're depressed some people are depressed and they don't want to speak to someone about it because they fear that they're going to be judged he's going to look at me he's going to look down at me he's going to look at me like i'm weak like I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk about this stuff. I'm a man, I'm a mother, I have children. I shouldn't talk about this issue. No sir, no madam, you need to speak out if you have the slightest inkling that you're not right there or you're not all there in the head, okay? So guys, I've been able to answer all 10 questions that were sent to me about the topic of depression. And I want you to take this topic seriously. Now, before this happened to me, I always look down on this topic. I always ask myself, who they suffer depression? Which how people could just sit down and say they don't want to live again? How people could just sit down and say, saying, ah, say they are bring no courage? Just can't lie with that one. How can someone just say he's depressed? That's just weak. That's how you should see it before. And I'm sorry for having this opinion. I apologize to people who had suffered this and who might have spoken to me about this and I didn't take it seriously. It happened to me and it took it to happen to me for me to realize that mental health is a big problem. And if you find, if you just have an inkling, the slightest inkling that you're not all there in the head, your mind is not right, please, I beg you, seek help. Talk to somebody, talk to your wife. If your wife is not the right support, don't stop there. Go talk to people. Let people know what you're suffering. And I trust, trust me, you're going to get one person who is going to direct you to the right person that is going to assist you, give you that support. If your wife or your spouse, your girlfriend, your brother, your sister doesn't want to listen, Fuse is here, okay? Leave me a message in the comment section. Slide into my Instagram. Slide into my DMs and send me messages tell me what you're going through and i want to be your support ever since i got out of the woods and got myself back i've made it my life work to help people who are suffering from this problem okay so please take it seriously mental health i'll say it again is a serious issue and if you find out that there's something wrong with your mind please seek help okay so guys i want to believe that this video was helpful to you or someone out there if it was do your boy a favor okay give us a thumbs up it showed the youtube algorithm that this sort of content is or was helpful to you so that we can be informed and make more videos on this sort of content okay and while you're down there why don't you smash the subscribe button help us grow this community and let's build it all together and if you have friends or family members that are suffering from depression why don't you think about sharing this video with them you just might be saving someone literally saving someone okay and until the next one guys don't forget it's still your boy fuse on the fuse corners be happy happiness is your property i cannot make you happy only you can make yourself happy okay until the next one stay safe stay good and be yourself bye bye friends.